to act dishonestly, to be unfaithful. It seemed a marriage made in Hollywood heaven. Ethan Hawke and Uma Thurman were both Oscar nominees and well respected among the film community. The two met on the set of Gattaca and were married the next year. But after it was discovered Ethan had been cheating, this marriage of seemingly well suited independent spirits was over and the Hollywood fairy tale was shattered. While filming Taking Lives with Angelina Jolie, Ethan met Canadian model Jen Perzo and began dating her while still married to Uma. In 2004, Uma filed for divorce after it was widely reported that Ethan had cheated on her with Jen, after he had suspected Uma of cheating on him with director Quentin Tarantino. It looks like you have a problem. Well, the first step is admitting to it. In a Rolling Stone interview, both Uma and Quentin denied ever having a romantic relationship, with Quentin going on record as saying that their relationship is strictly platonic. Referring to her as his muse, they first met when he cast her in his Oscar-winning film Pulp Fiction, and she starred in his bloody action saga Kill Bill, filmed while she was going through her breakup with Ethan. It was great publicity for the film, as Ethan blamed the alleged relationship between them as the reason he had cheated on her. Then one day, I decided to leave, settle down and start a new life. But when I tried to get out... We can't see why Ethan would be suspicious of these two obviously platonic friends. Not only is he a philanderer, Ethan is also quite the actor. Nominated for an Oscar for his role in Training Day, he also received his first screenwriting Oscar nomination for co-writing the 2004 film Before Sunset, a sequel to Before Sunrise. Well, I mean her, right? No, me. Okay, his split from Uma inspired the bittersweet emotions of his character in the films and won him critical praise. I see if you stay together or if you dissolve into molecules. How am I doing? Still here. Since the divorce, Uma has been looking better than ever. And after the breakup, she began dating handsome hotelier Andre Bollas. Her work on the big screen has made her one of Hollywood's golden girls. And Quentin's collaborations with the woman he calls his Marlena Dietrich have also played a pivotal role in her career, with her parts having earned her a reputation as cinema's ultimate femme fatale. Uma is also just at home in romantic comedies as she is kicking butt in action films. Her role opposite Meryl Streep in Prime saw her as an older woman dating a younger man who happened to be the son of her therapist. <laughs> She threw herself into her work and her career has soared since her split from Ethan and she is now a favourite leading lady. Oh, thank you. Welcome. A rose. You, you know, different colour roses mean different things. Red ones mean passion or love, so this is great. Ethan continues to showcase his brooding good looks in serious roles in independent films, having resisted the lure of the Hollywood blockbuster. Receiving critical acclaim for not only his acting but his directing, Ethan released The Hottest State, his second directorial effort based on the book by the same name, which he penned in 1996. That everything he says is a lie, and they go, if everything you say is a lie, then you're lying right now, which means you're telling the truth, which means you're lying. The film was called a well-balanced look at intimacy and was apparently evidence of Ethan's maturation as a multi-talented artist, as was his role in the indie flick Fast Food Nation. No, I, I, I can't look at you in the thing. You smell like chicken nuggets, all right? After his divorce, Ethan Hawke referred to the infidelities of Martin Luther King and John F. Kennedy, saying great leadership was more likely to come from a man who likes to have sex with a lot of women rather than from one who is monogamous. Uma Thurman should be glad to be rid of him.